What's up everyone? I'm going to show you how to wire a dual 2 ohm voice coil subwoofer as a 1 ohm load and as a 4 ohm load. The easiest way to tell if you have a dual voice coil subwoofer is you'll have two sets of speaker terminals. You'll have a positive and negative on one side and a positive and negative on the other. What we'll do now is we'll use a voltmeter to actually test the resistance of each coil. We'll set our voltmeter to resistance, the omega sign, and we'll test each input. And we're getting 1.6 ohms on the voltmeter. Now you'll definitely want to test each subwoofer with it facing up and with your hand not pressing the cone. Otherwise you can get fluctuations in the impedance as you can see here. With a dual voice coil 2 ohm subwoofer we can set it up either as a 4 ohm load or a 1 ohm load. To get a 1 ohm load you would parallel the connections and to get a 4 ohm load you would series the connections. We'll start first with 1 ohm. will parallel the positive connections and the negative connections. For the sake of this video, all we're going to use is zip cord. For your particular installation, what you'll want to do is use regular speaker wire. You'll need to take into account what size wire you need based on your amplifier output and how many subwoofers you'll be connecting. So our first connection will be the negative side. Our next connection will be the positive side. We've made our voice coil connections. Now our last connection will be the output to the amplifier. Prior to connecting the subwoofer to the amplifier, we'll need to test the resistance using a voltmeter. We'll set our voltmeter to resistance, connect the positive lead and the negative lead, and we have a 1 ohm load. Next up, we'll wire this as a 4 ohm load. We'll do that by connecting both voice coils in series. To connect the voice coils in series, we take the positive of one, connect it to the negative of the other, leaving us one positive and one negative going to the amplifier. The jumper we're gonna use to connect one positive to one negative, again, is just a piece of speaker wire. Once again, you'll need to properly size the wire for your subwoofer and amplifier. And the color of the wire doesn't matter. Our final connection will be the positive side and the negative side to the amp. Once again, we'll test our load using a voltmeter. Set the voltmeter to resistance. Connect our black probe to the negative, red probe to the positive and we have 3.4 ohms. Now what we're measuring here is resistance. We're not measuring impedance. Impedance will change when the subwoofer is mounted in an enclosure and playing. But here you have an idea as to what the load will look like at the amplifier. Make sure to check out all our videos on subwoofers, how to match subwoofers and amplifiers, and amplifier wiring along with subwoofer wiring. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure to check out qualitymobilevideo.com for all your car audio and video gear. Join the conversation below and thanks for watching.